Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, the 14th ranked Savannah State Tigers are hosting ACC foe Delaware State. The Tigers are 2-2 two two on the season. Delaware State is 1-2 currently. Uh, they were pretty bad last season, but they did get a bunch of freshmen. Look at that, 28 new freshmen on this team. So they are very young, and I'm expecting them to be pretty good here in the next year or two as soon as all those young guys start to develop for this school. Now in the FCS Pick'em, it was not even a close vote. Savannah State gets 23 votes. Delaware State only one vote in the Discord Pick'em. And they are having a rough year so far. They did beat South Carolina State though, uh, but South Carolina State is on a six game losing streak, so I'm not sure <laughs> how much stock you're gonna put into that one. But here we go, former Heisman Trophy winner, MJ Gator Jr., 10 total touchdowns on the season. And the Hornets are on offense first. Here is Jackson taking a deep shot downfield, and this is caught by McGrady. This Savannah State secondary has had issues the past two seasons covering talented wide receivers, and McGrady made him pay right there with a 58-yard reception. And the Hornets are in business already. Jackson looking to throw again. Left side. Harris pushed out of bounds. Inside the five-yard line. Numa with the tackle. Second down and three. Fullback gets the carry. He punches it in for the score. And the Hornets have a quick lead over the 14th bank Savannah State Tigers. The ACC favorite going into the season. Everybody thought they were going to perform better. Than they did last year, which is hard to believe. They only lost one ball game all season last year. Carroll set up a screen play here to MJ, left side. And he is going to pick up seven or eight yards. He's having a rough season so far, getting away from the first defender. And this pass is somehow caught by Zay Jones, and he has injured his chest on the play. That was his seventh catch of this season. Evan Barber, nice carry up the middle, juking and spinning past defenders, gets the first down. Barber with 150 yards and two touchdowns coming into the ball game. Carroll passes, left side, Anthony Numa, the freshman wide receiver, he runs over the corner for good measure. Touchdown Tigers, that's Numa's second touchdown the second of the season. Carroll with his 13th touchdown pass. Nice little, <laughs> nice little move right there at the end. A little strength from the freshman. And Jackson is picked off by Rayshon Griffin. And that is his third pick of the season. Fifth of his career. He's already got more interceptions this season than he did last year. Carroll play action. Right side. This is deflected away. Intended for Numa. Carroll four of eight so far. The touchdown and no picks. Well, again here, this pass is incomplete, and there was a holding call. That was just a disaster all the way around. Oh my goodness gracious! That was nice play by Number 99, the freshman outside linebacker who also plays defensive end here for Savannah State. In some formations. Here's Jackson deep down the middle, deflected away. Could have been picked off. Fourth down and six. Hornets will punt the football. And back to return. The dangerous Chris Numa. He has seven punt returns for touchdowns in his career. Can he get another one right here? No, he can't. He gets pushed out of bounds at his own 46-yard line. Sets his team up in great field position, though. Carroll looking to get something going here. Right side, caught. And that's Numa again with the 20-yard line. Anthony Numa, younger brother to the cornerback and All-American Chris Numa. Here's MJ right side. Look at the speed. And he does make the first man miss that he gets in front of. Oh my goodness. Juked him out of his shoes. 20 yard touchdown run for MJ Gator Jr. His ninth rushing touchdown of the season. 40th for his career in just two seasons. Delaware State goes three and out. So we're going to see some more Tiger offense. Here's Evan Barber stiff arming a defender in the open field up past the 40 yard line of Delaware State. Great run from him. We got a nice. Balance from the three running backs here for this school. MJ Gator Jr., Evan Barber, and Zane Roebuck. They've all been pretty solid for this school so far this season. Fourth down and five, though. Jeremy Carroll's going to throw it up, and the receiver never saw it. And I know you guys noticed these drop frames. And I, do, I feel like most of these drop frames always happen during the Savannah State games. It's so irritating. And here's a run from the quarterback. 
getting it up to the 43-yard line of Savannah State. And Delaware State is just hanging in there right now. And they pass right side. Harris, he'll pick up seven yards on the sideline. They're down in three. Full line set. They hand it to the fullback, and he is stopped short of the marker by a freshman non-subscriber cornerback. So much talent was uh, added to this team and recruiting, and nobody ended up selecting most of the players. And Carroll's going to be sacked here by Cannon, his first sack of the game. And the Tigers go three and out. They're having a rough time just getting anything really solid going on offense lately. And their defense is allowing some big plays as well. First and ten, Thompson, he'll pick up six yards. And James Thomas has injured his elbow on the play. That was one of the safeties. The strong safety, actually. And Thompson is stopped short of the marker here. It'll be fourth down and six. Nice play by Harris, the outside linebacker. They're going to go for it, though. And Jackson is pressured. He's bottled up, and he's finally brought down for the sack. And that was Harris again, who just made the previous play. See, Rashad Farrell came in with the initial pressure. Forcing Jackson to step up, and he stood no chance. First down and five after an encroachment penalty. And Jeremy Carroll's going to fumble this football backwards, and it's recovered by Delaware State. What in the world was that? My goodness gracious, folks. Tigers just keep shooting themselves in the foot, but the defense comes up big here with a sack from Kyle Rose, the fourth of this season for him, 12th of his career. And that'll be the end of the first half, 14-7. Tigers heavy favorites here today. But they are just, they just keep hurting themselves. And they cannot get MJ going. We haven't seen him a whole lot here today. A couple big plays. And here's Carroll on the option. MJ, nice juke move. Defender falls on his face. 15.5 yards average yards per rush for MJ. And he gets the first down here. Critical first down conversion right there. Carroll looking to sling the tater. Deep shot right side. One-on-one -on -one coverage. It's caught by Jarmel Lewis. Touchdown, Tigers. <laughs> Lewis with his fifth touchdown catch this season. That matches his total from his freshman year. And he is just falling out right now. Carroll now with 14 touchdown passes this year. He had 30 last season. Jackson to throw, trying to get his team back into this game. And that pass is well overthrown to the intended target. Second on 11 here for the Tigers after that punt. Carroll going to sling it over the middle. Caught by Anthony Numa. He spins the man out gets it inside the 30-yard line. Anthony Numa, 89 yards receiving today, career high. He came into the game with 102 yards receiving on eight catches with one score. Carroll over the middle to Numa again inside the five-yard line. Have yourself a day, freshman. That gets him over 100 yards for the game. And MJ is going to punch it in with a drop frame, but we shall see a replay here, folks. And that poor, that <laughs> poor linebacker did not stand a chance. It's 28-7. Tigers finally trying to, finally starting to pull away a little bit here. And Jackson has the interception on Jackson. Now it's starting to get ugly, folks. Great field position to start this drive for the Tigers. First attempt from the Hornets 22-yard line. Evan Barber is going to pick up 12 yards and a first down. We're down to goal now from the 7. MJ Gator Jr. Drop short. Now we got in for the score. His third touchdown run of the day. It looked to me like he was stopped just short of the end zone. The refs gave it to him. It's 35-7. Hornets are just having a rough go of it now, and there's a huge hit by Rashad Farrell. Oh my goodness, this freshman is a monster. Tigers back on offense. MJ spins the defender out in the open field, dropped at the 25-yard line. He's definitely improved today, getting past the first defender. He just keeps getting caught from behind, and he'll pick up nine more yards here on the left side. Second down in inches, big set here, two fullbacks. He's going to pick up the first down easily up to the 11-yard line. 15 first downs today for the Tigers. Carroll throw. Carroll end zone. Anthony Numa again. His second touchdown catch of the game. Third of the season. This is coming out party, folks. 
Oh my goodness, they had number 54 on him again. That is a mismatch nightmare. Hornets trying some trick plays here. McGrady with a nice catch from the halfback pass. Up there down at five. Jackson goes play action. And he's going to take off. He'll have the first down. And they will move the chains. They're averaging 469 yards of offense per game. Only 160 here today. Here's Thompson breaking loose to the outside. And Cody Lee Jr. will bring him down before he explodes for a huge game. Thompson again. Nice carry. He'll pick up nine more yards up the middle. Rashad Farrell. Another tackle. Farrell leads the team in tackles this season with over 20 now. Fourth down and one for the Hornets. And they try to go end around. No, they pitch it out to Vincent. That play was snuffed out from the start. And the Tigers are now back on offense. Here is MJ Gator Jr. Spinning, juking, breaking tackles. MJ to the house. What a run from the highest control the winner. I think that's his fourth touchdown on the ball game. Got to give him 12 on the season. And 42 for his career. Nice spin, nice juke. Makes a tackle. He showed everything on that play, and that is going to be the ball game, folks. Tigers get back on track with a W here in ACC football play against their foe, the Delaware State Hornets, who will now drop to one and three on the season. Tigers improve to three and two as they try to get back in the groove and get into the ACC championship game for a second straight season. But the second half was definitely better here for the Tigers than the first half. 260 yards on the ground. Carroll was 10 of 23. The quarterback accuracy this season for quite a few of our you know, sophomore quarterbacks has definitely taken a dip. And I'd like to see that improve a little bit. I'm not sure if it's maybe me just taking too many shots, but I don't I don't think so. Cause some of these schools I just throw short passes with. Unless we're playing with like South Dakota State, I like to chuck it up with Tremaine Watson. Uh, Carroll, three touchdowns today, no picks. 222 yards, sacked one time along with 63. MJ with 207 on the ground today. Four touchdowns. Evan Barber, 64 yards. We did not see Zane Roebuck, who has 221 yards on the season with four scores. Two touchdown catches for the freshman receiver, Anthony Numa, to go along with six catches and 122 yards. He doubled his yardage total added two more to his touchdown total giving three for the season 14 catches now offensive line played pretty well for the Tigers here today Rashad Farrell nine tackles he's got 29 on the season now and that leads the team by a bunch <laughs> by a bunch Cody Lee Jr. is in second and he has 17 so freshman outside linebacker Rashad Farrell making a huge impact here for the Tigers in the first five games of his young career he also had two for a loss. And the Tigers had some sacks here. Kyle Rose, Willie Madden had a sack as well. I don't believe I showed that play, or maybe I did, but it was so quick. Uh, I think that was his first career sack, actually. So congratulations to the freshman, Willie Madden. Number five, four-star freshman. And Chris Numa almost had a punt return for a touchdown here today. One block away from breaking it. He does have seven returns for scores in his career. MJ, Numa, Anthony Numa, Jeremy Carroll, players of the game. Francis, Ryan, and Cannon for the Hornets. Our next game, number 19, Jacksonville, hosts the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils in SEC play. Will we finally hear the stadium sound for Jacksonville? Find out next video. Until then, take it easy, guys.